Welcome back to Old Man Gaming. We're back here again, Leaderboard 25, Gold Rush. And uh, as you can see, I am on Nighthawk. I've done a little, not drilling, but uh, whatchamacallit, bulldozing. Yeah, yeah, that's what they call it. And from the last video, I mean, I didn't really do anything else. I've dug out one or two. Well, actually, what do we got? I think okay this is our fifth um, dump truck full but we can switch twice so that's what we're gonna do I have to make sure that we've got buckets everywhere for the switching because uh, I took it I took some buckets out from certain places so I'll have to look at that just quick yep this is gold rush if I didn't say that sure you knew that by now with that dumping let's go take a look so I just cleared it out more over there I maybe we'll go show in a second it's around 95 so there's gonna be I see I think it has to be in that first one I have a lot of I don't have any buckets for this right stuff here but uh, I can get some so I want to put it back over here there we go and now everything's starting to switch, so that's good. God, I wish they'd all fill up at the same time. I really don't understand why they don't. Okay, well that looks good. Things have been changing over, so... Let's go back to digging. So we're basically, this is my very first cleanup out of here, so we're not done. We just got to that second switch. Um, so now the bulldozer takes over its primary job on this claim anymore, and that's just to make light. Whoa, let's not fall in. Dang it, I wanted to get like much closer. Go over there. I'll move it forward. I think last time I was I parked it like that. It wasn't uh, wasn't over enough. All right. So I've only been digging and only taking back truckloads full where the gold or where the color is this gold. Maybe a tad lighter, but. Uh, I did that on one of the cleanouts of actually my last cleanout of of um, Pine Valley, and it was the biggest payday I got from there. And the it wasn't my biggest you know, squares with the most gold in them. In fact, they were some that were only about 400. But I think you know it really does depend on the uh, color of this line. When you pull the gold out or the dirt out how much gold will be in it so if you're like digging the dirt and it's white like that yeah it's got well when it's white it really has no gold in it but when it even goes to this very light yellow it will have gold in it but your clean out will not be very good in comparison to if you just dig when or just bring back Dang it, I thought I fixed well, I mean I probably fixed it and it's already come back. But you only dig and deliver dirt from when the boxes or the squares that gold color, so oh, by the way, scoot up just a little bit. Let's try to get all we can out of here. I mean, because if we hit inside that one, it's perfectly fine because as you can see it's also gold. Let me Oh, close this up. Goodness. So we need five more buckets then, or uh, dump trucks, and uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll to a cleanup. So I thought this would be a great place to start. Um, I've done other videos on bulldozing and shown the whole video. So, uh, I mean, if you want something like that, 
let me know because when we reset the claim again I can do a full video of how I'm bulldozing these places. But I gave a good example in the last video. I just didn't complete it because well, because I didn't. <laughs> I gotta be trying to be fast because uh, well earlier I was about 400 off of the leaderboard. I was at 9 or no. What was I at? Six, okay, so I've dropped one more place, but not by much. Well, that really sucks. Five, oh. Never mind, I'm thinking I'm at 3K or something. All right. I only need 300. That one is 1,000, but, you know, I think we're in good enough gold that that should not be a problem, or gold dirt, I should say. We better be, darn it. We're on, gold, we're on Nighthawk, so. Uh, so I am excited to see what this... Uh, this clean out is going to be. Also, I'm very happy that this clean out will be all mine. There won't be any rent to pay. Because, uh, like I said earlier, we bought the claim instead of leasing it. So, that makes me very happy. It was worth the dig in Pine Valley. Because this first claim I got kind of sucks, actually. But, it is what it is, and I need the money, so or the gold. I need both. But after like two clean outs, I will be probably able to buy most. Well, let's say three clean outs to be sure. Because I'm not going to wait till end, although it's not far away. <laughs> For like two days to autumn. But I'm not going to wait till end of winter to buy them. I'll just pick them up. And what I would like to do too is get um, some Frankensteins. I think what I'll do is we'll buy the, the two machines that we need, which is the shaker, well, the glacial trick creek, and then the trommel. So it's like 1.5 million probably we'll need. Unless the prices start going down. Which, once we hit autumn, they should. Um, and I, again, have been only digging at night. So... Oh, we're at 100%. I'm talking. I'm not looking at the numbers. Y'all got to say something. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm going to miss it. All right. This is a bit squirrely place I've dug here to get out. Takes a bit of work. But in my next clean out, I'll have to. I'll, I'm hoping this other white one that's at the end there will have very little to actually clean off the top. That's my hope. Actually, that first one, even though we've cut it down that far, still had probably like a meter of. I was just like, I can't cut any more off because the other two are already, you know, losing. So those used to be 700 ounce uh, things, and after I was done bulldozing, it went down to like 599. So I'm a little irritated with myself that <laughs> I wasn't watching and cut it too low. But uh, it didn't go gold like this nice gold color till another meter or so down. So I'm not sure if cutting it less would have made a difference. Might have still had to dig down that deep to get it to be this nice gold color that I want. Just park it kind of like sideways. Is that going to be good enough? I mean... Yeah, that works for me. I don't, I don't have an issue with it. I really got to fix this visible wall, but, uh, or see-through wall, I don't know what you want to call it. Now let's just hop out and do it. It's kind of a pain, but. So I think my last few videos, and I don't remember if I mentioned this before. Oh no, I didn't, because I only found out yesterday. So, I've been using OBS for ages now, 
and they've done two updates and after the updates i thought the sound of my videos were a little different and um but could, didn't know what it was and then um at some point well no uh it was by a roadkill he was like hey it tells me i need to update some like drivers for obs and He's like, I've looked everywhere and can't find him. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, that's surprising. Mine doesn't say that. But then I found it because it's actually under the mic and it's under the noise cancellation. Since they've updated OBS, they've been trying to use the NVIDIA noise cancellation stuff they have that is uh, can be done with the RTX video cards. And so that's great and all. I'm happy for anyone that can do that. But... Uh, but they were saying, because I got into mine and it showed I should update them too. And I was like, oh, okay. So I tried to do it, but I found out it's only for those people that have an RTX card. Well, I have a GTX 1080, 1060, I don't remember. 1060. It's kind of old, you know. Not that it's a bad card. It's doing the job. <laughs> but uh, the problem is there isn't you know like a driver or anything that we have to update for these old cards it's all for the rtx 20 series and up so but the problem is okay so here's what it they said oh it's just a bug you're not supposed to see that warning everything should work the same well that's untrue because what it has done is it's destroyed or like turned off the noise suppression altogether I was thinking, gosh, my I know the mic picks up a lot of things. Um, but it was picking up more, is what I thought. But I was like, nah, I mean, I've got noise suppression and everything on. So I was trying, I was messing with it yesterday, because I was going to do some recording with Indie Ninja Gaming. We're doing the co-op series for, uh, what is it, Ranch Simulator. And I was like, I want to get the sound sounding good. Uh, so, that's when I started looking into it and found out that, oh, crap, this is actually messing up my recordings. And so what I ended up having to do is go back to OBS 27. So if you're having that same kind of issue, this is what, personally, the only thing I found that works. Because there are no drivers for old cards to have this because they don't support it. But... The bug that they have in their software, they think is just it's showing you the message is actually a bug that like disables all of noise cancellation. You turn it on, you turn it off, you hear the same exact thing, which means it's not working. And so for us people with the older cards, the only thing you can do is downgrade to 27, because it's in version 28 that they started that. So. Um, yeah, but that sucks because I had some, there's some cool features in 28 and 29 that I was using that now aren't there. So I'm not, I can't use them. So like it had this cool thing to split out the audio between the actual game audio and uh, discord and the, just the standard audio for the computer. You could give each one of them a volume rather than what it currently is. It's all lumped up into desktop audio. And you get one audio for everything. <laughs> so, or one level for all audio. So yeah, that's a bummer. But at least I got it figured out. You know, like at least it doesn't delete your profiles. So getting things to work back quickly didn't take long but it's just a disappointing thing that that they are not aware that that's actually a bigger bug than what it seems they think um, but let me know if, if you have an older car and you're having the same issue or you have the same experience with your sound going off or like the uh, noise cancellation that's only if you use filters if you're just using your mic straight up it's not going to affect you any 
you have to be add, you have to add the filter which is a noise suppression and it doesn't matter which one there's two different ones one's like a low cpu usage one and the other one is uh, a little better and it uses more cpu power but neither of them work they both do not cancel any noise so it's a disappointment That's, a, I think, our second one. So we still need three more out of here. So there's Midnight. It's only 13,000. Oh, yeah. 65. That's gone up a bit. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, we didn't process so much dirt because it was the first day. And um, I was setting up. I had to put the, uh, the Glacial Creek and the trauma line at midnight, so I didn't get the full, even the full day or night cycle to dig either. Or well, this video would actually be kind of different, so yeah. That's where we're at. Let's go. I really got to bring this up high to get over that. But not much we can do. Just keep digging. forward a bit more if we really want to get down to the bottom I might do that just I mean because I'm gonna have to get some out of that other square in the back but uh, we haven't dug all the way down to the bottom of its block yet either so there's dirt in these here holes instead of hills <laughs> I want this to go faster And I plan, before I do a reset, which might be a lot sooner than people would think, but I'm going to hopefully be owner of at least two Frankensteins and all of the Tier 5 equipment. I mean, like I said, two cleanups will basically, well, maybe three, but we'll have all we need for the tier five there's only two more pieces that we need let's see if this makes much difference we still like well we can get more you know that could be five more scoops of gold dirt right there Simply because we moved up two inches.
like the reason I picked these were they're supposed to be 700 ounce squares, but again, I blew it and took quite a bit off the top. So they're still good squares, but they're not as good as they were. Rookie mistake, man. I was very like diligent on the other side to make sure that we barely cleared off the top of what we just needed to. We didn't take any more. No, out in the center, so. But here I got a little sloppy. Kind of because I was like, I just want to dig now. I'm done with bulldozing. I don't even generally come up in this area, but because they put 700 ounce squares up here, I want to come, you know, going to come find them. Money's good there, but. Uh, lights will drain your battery. Fine. Gosh, got to yell at me all the time. All right, all right. Oh, there's just a small area to squeeze out here. And, uh, yeah, I can't see it very well in the dark. Got lights where it's all pretty much important, necessary. stop out here and take a look where we're at okay that's nice we need like a bucket and a half and a dump truck and a half but I'll probably get two buck uh, dump truck pools that way there's more dirt for the next clean out That was the wrong way. Dude, still having to drag and uh, pull this up really high. This is slowing me down. Can't have that. Not completely watching the time, but uh, I had been, at least at Pine Valley, I was putting them in about one every hour. Game hour, that is. One every real hour. It's like, holy cow, you're going kind of slow. I don't think even you guys would want to just sit here and watch. Get one dump truck full per hour. I mean, you would, wow, I don't know. Let me do it take three minutes per one of these bucketfuls to be coming up out of the ground. And then at that rate, you're going to definitely hope that you get uh, thousands of ounces for every time you pull something up. <laughs> I think uh, my roadkill and I will be having some raft co-op coming up here pretty soon. I think we need to do some recordings. So if you're watching, man, hit me up. We should record soon. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. We've got the rant simulator co-op. Those are the two I'm doing. I didn't, I haven't started, and I maybe I won't uh, do my other Gold Rush series during this because, I don't know, maybe it's too much. Maybe it's just too much for me. I, I have to spend a lot of time in in this, in the leaderboard, to keep up and, and 
not fall behind. And I have other games also that I'm, you know, uh, doing on the channel to keep the channel as a variety channel, even though about every other month we're definitely in gold rush fever. <laughs> and nowadays we're playing these leaderboards simply to say I won top 10. There's not even any skins being handed out anymore. Oh, and I haven't even changed any of the skins on my vehicles. I've kept them all the default. Which is not normally like me. I generally change them once I get them. I'll go and put the uh, scorched earth on the excavator here. It looks similar, but it's more red. And I do like the last and only skin I got for the dump truck. Which I think was actually the last one they handed out. It was actually a nice one. I wish they would have kept going with ones that look like that for the new set, you know. So I'm going to have to start moving over to get more buckets of dirt here. But we're almost done with this dump truck, so we're good. I was giving them ideas, you know, if you can't if you don't have a a person dedicated that can do skins working in the company, there is still a community. You could ask the community, and I'm sure there's several people. I know there's several people. I've seen skins from many different people. Uh, you could have a contest, and then the person who wins the contest, their skin gets to be given out on the next leaderboard. So it's like, it's that simple, people. that one. I had to think what which button is it that I gotta push because uh, we totally botched that one I'm getting a little tired so my brain isn't going as fast as it normally does which on most days it's not as fast as others but it's not slow either I'm just not so witty as, as some people are and my humor is very situational like i'm a really funny guy it's just very situational and and the you know when i can make people laugh i couldn't be a stand-up comedian because i don't remember jokes like that it's just like i'm pretty witty at certain in certain situations i guess <laughs> or comical or whatnot i don't know what you just call it but all right, finally, my last dump truck full. And normally I would just keep going and uh, kind of get a bunch more for the next night. But since we're doing a video, I will stop at this one. Plus, we're kind of running out of dirt over here. I'm going to see about just moving the excavator over a touch, so... Oh, whoops, let's uh, get in the right mode first. There, yeah, that's the one I want. Fortunately, the lights for this guy just don't, don't do anything. We'll move to about here. There's plenty of dirt in here to dig, but just got to get to it. All right. Back to business. See, over here, we're kind of hitting the... Uh, this is just an awful long swing, unfortunately. What can you do? It's just how it, it's got to be sometimes. I should have dug out the whole thing first, but I didn't. Um, and now it's kind of biting me in the butt, so it is what it is. Dang, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I like going the wrong direction.
<laughs> Sorry, guys. I think I stayed up too late last night. I wasn't actually playing this game either. Maybe it should have been, but it wasn't. <laughs> Again, if it was, this would be a very different video. Probably be on our second or third clean out, or you have all the equipment bought. I'd be saving money for this uh, Frankenstein's. So yeah, it would be a very different uh, video. Kind of tired because we went swimming with the, with our little girls. They they still like to go swimming with us. So we just went to our local swimming hall. Like there's this big swimming. I guess you might call it a swimming park, but like you know, it's inside. It's got like three three slides, I think, and a few diving boards, and then it's got like this adults only section where there's salt saunas and bit more luxurious um, pools that we go to frequently but but this time it was just to the the standard one where there's well this one there's a couple around our house but this one has a Olympic sized swimming pool or lap pool I guess you'll call it and they have like this little baby pool and adjacent to that, there's another, like, I don't know, pretty okay sized place for kids to play. You know, the depth of the water gets to maybe, maybe my waist. I don't know. I'm only 5'5", five five, so it's not super deep. And then... And they had this, uh, what were they calling it? I think they were calling it like a multifunctional pool. But basically it's like a spa pool where they've got spouts that, that uh, you know, drop out water on you to massage you. And then they've got like a section where you can sit and they've got jacuzzi like bubbles on you. But the water's quite deep there so we don't hang out too much there because a little one five-year-old she's still a little scared of the deep water so she doesn't like to be over there <laughs> and then here in Finland which is a rare thing I've never seen it anywhere else but well maybe in, in Estonia I think it's a very Nordic country kind of thing but they have this small but long well not super long I'd say it's maybe 10 feet long and three or four feet wide is all so you're supposed to just walk through it but it's like an ice pool basically the water is very 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 cold I mean for here they just pump it from outside but because <laughs> it's always cold here um, actually today it's been quite cold like nine minus nine so it's it's cold but a lot of fins like to they go a lot of them go fin uh, winter swimming as well. I have done that, but the only like the only way you do it is you go to a sauna first. So you get super hot. So the sauna is like, and unfortunately I don't know the temps in in Fahrenheit, but it's all Celsius. But so like a children's sauna is like 80 degrees Celsius, and. Uh, then when if there's if it's just for adults or like a I guess you'd call a mixed where there's adults and children then most of the time adults will splash water on it for a bit and get it up to around 90 and if it's just like finished men who have especially had a few beers or something then they just keep splashing water onto the heater onto the rocks which I know they don't do in America but they do it wrong so all you guys that want to throw water on those rocks, that's exactly what they're meant to be doing, done. But uh, American people, like, don't know how to do it. Or businesses that have saunas, like the gyms. But they splash water till it's like 
100, even 105. It's super hot. And then you'll run out to um, to a lake or a river, or in this case, in the public pools, they have an ice. Well, it's, it's not ice, but it's pretty doggone cold. So uh, it's like getting into an uh, outside into the. the So you just run through it and you get really cold and you run back to the sauna because it's freezing cold. But when I did it, we were at a like a retreat. So um, we all we all all the men went to the sauna. We made it really hot and didn't even put my shoes on. But the sauna was probably I would say 50 feet, maybe 100 at the max to where the water is so you just walk out to the water you're like steaming hot there's steam everywhere off of you and you jump into the freezing water and that time it was actually i walked when i was walking outside i was like minus 20 and it didn't feel like it because then i that didn't turn that off okay that should maybe is everything at 100 all right um this up, unhook this. So that's a bit of Finnish society for you, I guess. They do it all over the place, like where we used to live by the by the ocean. I mean, we still kind of live by the ocean, but it's much further away. Um, like where we had a beach, and there was like a little pier off to the one side. And they have like to keep the water from freezing over they would turn on a pump so the water was constantly moving so there's a small section that uh, would stay unthawed and uh people like all winter long you know i'd be out walking my dog and there would be people i mean they have like a little sauna building and a uh, changing area there by the the uh pier because people go what they call winter swimming <laughs> i i don't do i don't do it like this is crazy i think i got everything hooked up uh around here let's start with these back ones these guys look like they're that one's on because it's our old one oh yeah i'm not doing um i do want to kind of see not doing the nugget nader, so just there for a second. I thought, oh crap, I put it in the wrong one. <laughs> but most people, like, they don't go to the, like, uh, you know, I watch, they're not going to the sauna. They're just, I'll go in, change really quick, run out. Some of them dip in the water and jump right back in, which is what I would do. But then there were some that were like, they would swim for quite some time in the freezing cold water and i'm just like y'all are crazy it's too freaking cold but it's very like it it it's very good for your circulation system so circulatory system looks like we've got good dirt i'm very happy that's at 42 so this gives us another 100 or so oh it's over here which means this up here should maybe give us about a hundred and we might get 150 or so out of there. I'm just going to drop the two in here and kind of more about how much the overall is rather than each one, one now. I do want to see kind of from side to side though. <clears throat> Wish we did have three buckets full of dirt, though. That would be really nice. Okay, but now we've got our nugget needers where we can easily exchange all the mats. So that's actually still on the other side. It's not yet as easy. We still got to drop them on the ground until we get a level three person. 103, okay. 128. See, we're already at 335. I was hoping for more because those should have been 700 ounce squares, but uh, yeah, I blew it. Oh, well, oh, we don't. 
Oh, this side we don't have to. Very nice. Now that it's set this way, this is very... Oh, this one doesn't have a... Yeah, we need buckets. Uh, we'll just take them from the thing for now. So I don't think the one over there is processing anything either. So no bucket. I'll turn it on, but... Take it from the back here. Okay, I was have to wait a minute. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh, it probably is actually. Let me turn it down. All right, got the volume down a bit better. Especially around these things, it's always really loud. No, I was pointing at that one. That's the end one. There we go. Dang it. Well, that sure makes it fast and easy. Oh, I have to do it from this side. That's a little longer, but not much. Well, dang it. Actually, I think we'll get about 160 out of... Like, we'll get maybe 80, 85 out of each of these. That's what I'm hoping for. We did have a really good clean out here, so it's... Uh... Okay, so we got to get the last one that I just happened to throw down here. That's how I am. Like, I don't need you. You're out of here. you fired. All right. So this one on this side should be done, and we'll just dump it in. Let's see what we get. Maybe if I can hit the button, my goodness. All right, let it rain. The rain maker. Considering I'm the, well, I'm not the only employee, but I'm the only one that digs and stuff. I can technically be called the rain maker. A hundred and oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, wasn't expecting that much. That makes me very happy. Well, I'm still glad we dug over there. It's like it's far away and it takes a bit of time, but all the fuel is less probably for the uh, what you call it, the uh, 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 bulldozer because it's over there. With its lights on. Look at that. 540 ounces. Oh. And it's all mine. That makes me more happy. <laughs> that is awesome. Because that should give us enough to buy... Yeah, and it's the daytime. So I'm going to just go purchase the, uh, let's, let's do that. Because the money's mine. Oh, we got to go over here. We'll purchase the, uh, well, hopefully we should be able to. I don't think it's going to be 600K. Plus, well, uh, we got to watch. We have, like, Hmm, we need like 70k though to make sure we pay our workers. So let's see what we have. I guess it depends on the gold price. We just got to make sure we don't... You know, I can't go past midnight. Well, here's the thing. I could buy it, and if I'm like, whoops, I spent too much money, we'll just dig in the day. It's not a big deal. 
I mean, yeah, we do get quite a bit more gold from the nighttime, but, uh... I mean, to speed things up, maybe. So I could actually prepare so that this next season, or the next... Yeah, you know, when the next season comes, I do a reset. I have it all uh, drilled out. Not drilled, but, um... Well, yeah, I guess we have to drill it. We have to bulldoze it. Have it all set up. And have all the equipment so that I can start on a proper seasonal total as well. But let's take a look, though. Because um, now, hey, we're back to the top 10. Barely, but we did it. I'm going to put in at least one more clean out today. Probably something another around 500. So we will, could even, depends on where I dig, could even get up to... Uh, I'm hoping to see six or seven. Well, that probably won't happen until we can get all three clean outs done or like switches done. So that'll be a few more days, probably like 10 more days because my, peep, my peeps are still leveling up. But hey, we're in top 10. I'm going to buy the, uh, the thing, the thim. We'll just travel over there like this. Beats running. Well, I could have just gone to the camp because then the run is like shorter. But oh well. It doesn't really matter. Basically, I'd like to. Oh well, we got plenty. Plenty of money. Oh yeah, I see tons. Like, we almost have enough to buy the freaking, whatever you call it, Glacial Creek. I just totally spaced it. Although, right now, because we're one day to autumn, it's probably pretty darn expensive. That's true. If we're replacing this and we put it in, then our rent won't be as high either. So, I just want to see where we're at with this one. Oh, it's over a million. This is at like 700, and this is... 490, it's not actually bad. I was expecting it to be like 550, closer to 600. So, we are buying this one. I don't care what time of season it is. I could probably wait two or three more days. Well, if I wait two or three more days, we're probably spending 60k on it. So, why waste 60k when we can just order it right now, put it in, and... Uh, Be golden. Yeah. All right. Um, so now we got to get rid of the old one. Or the rented one. It's not really that old. But it is rented. Let's see this poor guy still on. I think we could turn it off for now because it's getting daytime. Oh wait, I'm see I don't know if I want to come back here and dig. So I'm gonna have to do some pretty hefty like unless that one goes yellow really quick. I have a feeling that this one's only yellow because we've been digging so far down on its side. If I dig from the top, it's not going to be yellow. I can test that and see, but that's kind of what I think. I'm going to get the dump truck out of the way. In fact, my cables are still right over there because the trauma was the last thing I put in. We rented it for one day. But that's all I needed because I knew once we got here, the money would be flowing in. So we still have 250k, so we're golden. <laughs> Pun intended.
Oh yeah, we left that stuff on. Not a big deal. We've got money now. So the cables are somewhere right here. So I just put this lower. I guess in this game I'm also short. <laughs> and we've driven this up here so we have to... And we can fill it up as well. Can't wait till we get everyone up updated so I can get... Uh, that easy gas thing as well. Makes a big difference. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Just park it over here for a bit. Almost looks like it's gonna tip over. Uh. All right, I had to pause for a sec second, but we're back and ready to rumble. I'm betting this thing makes a pretty good rumble on the ground. Oh, wait, before we can pick it up, we got to unplug it. Just remembered it's plugged in, so. Whoops, maybe I didn't want to drop it that far down, but oh well. Well, let's see if we can get this hooked up easy. Oh, the old one, you can like hop on and it's got those little rails on the side that help out a lot. Oh, let's not pass it up here. Perfect. Now, slight, simple lift up on this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. I always like returning the re the rented stuff. Feels good. You know, we really earned it. I've gotten less, like, picky about renting stuff to make sure we just got a complete tier 5 set. I'm contemplating just digging in the daytime so I can have like two. I right, we got one day to autumn, so there's seven days. So that's like seven cleanups of say 400 ounces each. I mean, we'll go on the shy side so that we, oh, I can just do it like this. Take away the excavator and the cables and sell the trauma. Oh yeah. So seven times four is only 28, right? My math serves me. Been a little while. So it's 2.8 million and one million of, well, it, you know, it depends. 
Now, we have to just buy it when we can. Looks like almost 1.2 million is going to be needed for. And then 1.4, so we get like 2.6 million. See, we probably have to dig a few times in that. Plus, we need a million dollars to reset the claim. So there's a lot of <clears throat> little things we have to take into account. You need about 10K to buy. Well, okay, I need about 10K to buy all the cables because I have it resell. I have it, like, they, they get sold. I don't care. Um, I find it easier just to buy them from the store and and uh, take them down there than trying to roll them all up and take them off the claim and then bring them back to the claim and put them all back out. Just a huge use of time that you could be doing other things with, like digging, so. Should be good. Should be. I don't know. I don't know. It's actually, yeah, this side I was kind of worried about. But let's hook up the other side. Which is this side. It would kind of be weird if both sides did not reach. It's like, it doesn't reach on this side. It doesn't reach on that side. What? All right, once it starts pulling, you know that you'll get enough cable to reach over here. Oh, this is a wonderful thing. This is our own equipment. That should bring our rent down about half. Oh, I'm thinking I'm opening this up so that we've got clearance and I'm in the wrong mode. So we're just pushing the camera around. Okie dokie. I can't replace, I can't wait to replace that uh, glacial creek either. That'll be really nice. If you don't know, stay close to the uh, to the hopper here. You get even a little bit close to those trees, and you'll your cables will snag and break, and you'll hit things that aren't there, and you'll wonder what on earth is going on. But that's that's how it is over on this side. Oops, there we go again, doing the wrong thing. Oh, we're not, we're not far enough forward yet, are we? Okay, a little more forward. Thought we had cleared the wood. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, well, I think we're going to leave it here. You all know what we're doing. We're going to be digging so we can buy the uh, Glacial Creek. I just want to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're brand new, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.